Okay, House on Pleasant Street channel. Uh, I think today I'm going to start a new project in here. Obviously, I'm not done the kitchen, but I'm at a standstill with the kitchen. Uh, if you've watched any of the other videos, you'll know that I'm still waiting for IKEA to open. Uh, I have no hinges. I have no doors installed. And because of my kitchen purchase, I have all my Ikea coupons uh, because it was the kitchen event. So I have almost a couple thousand dollars of Ikea money that I'm going to use to buy my appliances. So I am literally at a standstill here uh, waiting for the store to reopen. So another thing that I've had in the back of my mind that I wanted to do was... My little sunroom in the front of the house here, and I've had thoughts of modifying this a little bit. I mean, I want it to be a sunroom. I like the room. I like the windows, but I really don't like this low ceiling. This low ceiling, I don't like at all. It's probably only about seven feet high. Um, so the idea is I would... Uh, blow the ceiling out and see if I could vault it a little bit. Now, I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, there is a pitched roof above this little sun porch. So I'm hoping and thinking that I could uh, vault this ceiling. Uh, so it would make this room seem a lot bigger and a taller ceiling would be nice in my opinion. And... Uh, I just thought since, uh, you know, it's going to be a rainy week. It's pretty much calling for rain all week. And I cannot progress on anything on my kitchen. Uh, I can maybe clear this out and put some plastic around this area to keep the dust down. And I could start poking around in here to see if I could, uh, see if I can get anywhere. See what, if this is even, maybe make a test hole up here. See if it's even possible, uh, to vault this thing. Um, it would be nice. I really, you know, I don't like that light fixture and I don't like this low seven foot ceiling. I just think it could look much better. And I don't really like that laminate floor they put down there, but I think for now I'm going to clear this out and poke a test hole and start pulling some of these boards down. I do like the bead board. I'm probably going to redo it. I'm just going to try to do it a little bit better than what they had. Uh, but anyway. So yeah, I think I'm going to start on this this morning and see how this goes. Okay, so a couple minutes later, I've put up a sheet of plastic and try to be smart about it this time, try to keep the dust down. So I've peeled back a little bit. I'm just going to get in here now. I have peeled back a little bit of the old paneling, which I, I like the old beadboard, but then underneath I revealed uh, some more old paneling, so God knows what's in here. And God knows if there's even any insulation, so, but that's not really a big issue. My biggest issue is, and it's the project that I'm after, is I want to see if I can vault this ceiling. So this looks like probably quarter inch plywood. So this is a little bit the moment of truth. I'm going to pull down a piece of this just to see what's up ahead. Oh, I'm hoping to see some exposed, uh, wooden structure that I could maybe wrap or leave exposed or I don't know. I just, I hope I don't end up just putting this old ceiling back. That could be the case. Uh, I, I really hate low ceilings. Uh, you know, just they're hideous. So I'm going to pull this down moment of truth just to see if there's any potential whatsoever. I mean, this might not work at all and I might end up just putting everything back, but uh, if that's the case, and so be it, at least I will have tried. But I'm just really curious to see what's underneath here. Also, uh, as this wall continues upwards, this is also an exterior wall. And my daughter's bedroom is upstairs. And even though we've had the house insulated, she seems to claim, or she doesn't seem to claim, she claims that this wall is cold. So if I can expose a little bit of that and see what the insulation situation is, uh, I might also be able to improve that at the same time. So, uh, let's see how this goes. 
Okay, well this took no time at all. Uh, I don't know if I'm happy or disappointed. Uh, I took down the old quarter inch paneling. That was probably put on there in the 80s or whatnot. And what's underneath that is a uh, bead board or real, like real, real wood slats. So, uh, they're obviously very old. They've been painted with God knows what. So I don't know now, uh, do I like this? Do I leave it? I think it's probably better than paneling. However, it's not giving me any kind of height. And if this was an old outside porch at one time that was closed in, then there's a good chance that there'd be zero insulation up there. So, uh, I'm gonna have to, that's, what could that be? House sheathing maybe? Yeah, I don't know what this coating is. I don't know if it's some kind of a paint or what the heck that is. But, um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I see, look, there's a seam here. Maybe I will pull one down just to see what's up there. Do I leave this? It's not bad. But, uh, the time I scrape and paint, is it worth it? Do I just take it all down to expose the vault? Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, I've only been at this probably less than half an hour total. So I think I will, I'll take the rest of this paneling down because I obviously don't want that. If I do put anything back up, if I have to leave it low, I'll either drywall it or maybe put some, some newer beadboard that's a complete match. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just going to keep digging a little bit and see where I get. Okay, well here we are in the porch. I took down a few of these old boards that uh, I thought they were kind of nice and maybe I could keep them. Uh, of course, I did my little test hole right above here and I thought, oh my gosh, you know, this is all full of insulation. But there was a little bit of insulation there. As I go along, there's really nothing to speak of, sort of. I mean, that's the roof, that's outside. Those boards look good. That's an outside wall, and this is the wall to my daughter's bedroom. So, while I've got this, while I vault this, I think it's going to look good vaulted. Uh, I might have to do some, I'm definitely going to have to wrap this in styrofoam, so it's going to be, I'm thinking this is going to be a hard styrofoam, but maybe get some cans of the uh, expandable stuff in between the cracks. Uh, maybe I could leave these beams here. Thinking maybe, but first, before I make any decisions, I will, I'm committed now, and I think it's going to look good raised up. I'm going to take all these down. I'll be able to keep my light in here, but of course, maybe I can make it more like a dangly light from a little bit higher, or maybe some kind of a pot light off one of these beams or something. So anyway, I think this is going to be a good little project, hopefully not too pricey. The styrofoam is expensive, but anyway, I'm committed. I'm taking this down. Uh, it is very drafty, so I'm glad I chose. We're coming into summer, so good summer project. If this was winter time, it would be hideous. Uh, and this is the floor in my daughter's room. Uh, and that's the floor she claims is drafty, so I'm going to be investigating this. And if we have to wrap this in styrofoam, well, we'll do that also. And if we have to call back, uh, the uh, maritime insulators to get them to inject some more stuff, then we will do that as well. But that is an outside wall. That is an outside wall. Zero insulation. So she's sitting right there in her room. Yeah, it's like you're sitting outside. So, 100 year old house, 102. That's, that's what you get. Anyway, taking these down, I feel good about it. Uh, again, my kitchen project, I wish I could have finished the kitchen, but uh, that is just at a standstill right now. So, yeah, it's not actually, I thought there was going to be a big, huge mess of insulation. It's actually not going to be that bad. Probably all the insulation in there will probably fit in one garbage bag. And, uh, yeah, I think we can transform this little sitting porch sunroom into something a little bit nicer with this uh, raised ceiling. All right. Catch you on the next one. Okay, well, got all the boards down. And uh, I like what I see. I think this is exactly what I was looking for. Uh, 
I, there's a little crevice there in that outside wall. There is definitely no insulation there. So that wall is hollow. Uh, I will have to address that, I think. Uh, I will have to put a partition up here. I will partition this up because that's right above the outside section. So that's going to be considered outdoors. So the walls, I'm going to make the wall go all the way straight up. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to use the styrofoam boards. So right now I'm just cleaning up. All the uh, cellulose is on the floor. So it's uh, cellulose insulation, so made up of uh, ground up newspaper. So it's kind of a modern day, a more modern day uh, product. So I'm going to sweep this up and bag this up. And uh, thank God I got this plastic here to get some of the dust. I still have to sweep the floor, but uh, for now I'm going to get this cleaned up and then I'm uh, going to do a little bit of figuring, see how much styrofoam I need, see how I'm going to wrap this. And I'm not sure, maybe I'll leave some of this wood exposed, maybe not. I haven't decided yet. Okay.